$245 million and multiple roadblocks later, Kulani Hakoi High School on Maui will open in time for the upcoming school year. But officials say there's still a long road ahead as another major project still needs to be completed. Christy Thomas Shiro has more. Take a look inside of South Maui's brand new high school. The Kulani Hoko'i Rays sophomore class will call this new campus home starting August 7th, but under one condition. Students will be arriving by vehicle only. That means students will not be allowed to walk to school. Instead, they must take shuttles, the bus, or get dropped off. It's all part of an agreement made between the state and county to cut the red tape around the $245 million project. Since 2013, the State Land Use Commission ordered that a pedestrian crossing be built. Instead, a roundabout was installed, forcing the freshman class to use Lokelani Intermediate as its temporary campus. The county received a temporary certificate of occupancy stating the county will not be responsible for any liabilities as a pedestrian crossing moves forward. We're working with G70 and the Department of Transportation on the design and construction of a great separated pedestrian crossing that work that and that work is underway and we'll see it through. Last session, $50 million was approved for the pedestrian crossing, but ultimately funding did not make the final budget bill. Next session, it'll be back to the drawing board. The design company is expected to have a completed design by late summer, but area lawmakers say getting the community's approval is critical. So that could jeopardize funding. So it's super important that the DOE get their design architects to do this important step. To make sure that it's open to the community, but also secure for the DOE when it's, when it's constructed. Part of the design process is to ensure that we look at those possibilities. Construction of the crossing will take up to five years depending on funding. Maui County is unsure of how long the temporary agreement will last, but is willing to ask for extensions. Future phases of the construction will include athletics facilities and additional classrooms. Christy Tom Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.